hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video you will learn that how to analyze statically indeterminate structure using the force method of structural analysis i have been given a question which states that we have to determine the deflection at the end b of this clamped a36 steel strip as shown in the figure the spring has a stiffness of 2 newton per mm this strip is 5 mm wide and 10 mm high we have to also draw the shear and the moment diagram for this strip you can see this uh, steel strip okay which is having a length of 200 mm its width is 5 mm and depth is 10 mm F uh, force of 50 newton is applied at end b and also there is a spring of stiffness 2 newton per mm at end b Okay, we have to find the deflection at end B and also draw the shear and the moment diagram for this steel strip. So in question, the width of the strip, this is given as 5 mm or 0 0.005 meter. Depth of the strip is 10 mm or 0 0.01 meter. Stiffness of the spring, this is 2 Newton per mm or you can write it as 2000 Newton per meter. Moment of inertia of this strip, this will be given as I is equal to BH cube divided by 12, okay, which is equal to 0 0.005 into 0 0.01 cube divided by 12, which is equal to 0 0.4167 into 10 raised power minus 9 meter raised power 4. Modulus of elasticity of A36 steel, okay, this is 200 gigapascal or 200 into 10 raised power 9 newton per meter square. You can see the free body diagram of this steel strip. Okay, so I have break down this steel strip into two parts. Okay, in the first part, this force of 50 Newton is applied. Okay, and the deflection at and B, this is delta B1. And in the second uh, part, I have applied a force of reaction BY at and B. Okay, and the deflection is delta B2. So we are assuming that vertical reaction at B uh, is equal to by and that is in the upward direction okay so total deflection at and b okay that is due to the 50 newton force and force in the spring which is by this is equal to delta b1 minus delta b2 so uh, force by this is equal to uh, since force in spring this is stiffness multiplied by the deflection in the spring so by this will be k times multiplied by the deflection at b that is delta b k is 2000 so by this will be 2000 times total deflection at b that is delta b okay delta b1 that is for the first part of the beam okay when only force of 50 newton is applied at and b which causes a deflection of delta b1 this is equal to pl cube divided by 3 ei you have to remember okay when the force is applied at the free end of a cantilever beam because this first part of the beam this is a simple cantilever beam so deflection okay at free end when a force of p is applied at the free end of a cantilever beam this is pl cube divided by 3 ei here the value of p is 50 newton so deflection uh, that is delta b1 when only 50 newton force is applied at and b this will be equal to 50 into 0 0.2 raised power uh, 3 okay length of the beam is 200 mm or 0 0.2 meter divided by 3 e value of e is 200 into 10 raised power 9 pascal and i this is 0 0.4197 into 10 raised power minus 9 meter raised power 4 so deflection at b when only force of 50 newton is applied okay this is 0 0.0016 meter in the second case i am applying the uh, vertical reaction uh, to this beam okay which is in the upward direction okay only this vertical reaction is applied at the end b and in this case again the deflection since it is again a, a cantilever beam having a force applied at free end it will be again pl cube divided by 3 ei here the value of force is by vertical reaction by so delta b2 this is by into l cube divided by 3 ei by this is 2000 into delta b so into 0 0.2 raised power 3 
divided by 3 into 200 into 10 is power 9 into 0 0.4197 into 10 is power minus 9 this is equal to 0 0.064 delta b okay this is the value of delta b2 now from the compatibility condition total deflection at b this is deflection when only 50 newton force is applied minus the deflection when only uh, vertical reaction b y is applied okay so because in the first case deflection of beam will be in downward direction and in the second case deflection of the beam will be in the upward direction okay so total deflection this will be delta b1 minus delta b2 putting values so it will be delta b is equal to 0 0.0016 minus 0 0.064 delta b2 from this you can get the value of delta b as 1.5 into 10 is power minus 3 meter or 1.5 mm after getting the value of deflection at b you can now easily ca calculate the vertical reaction at and b vertical reaction at and b okay that is the which is also the force in the spring this is k times deflection at b so it will be 2000 into 1.5 into 10 is power minus 3 which is equal to 3 newton okay so deflection at b is 1.5 mm and force in the spring or the vertical reaction at b this is equal to 3 newton okay now you can easily draw the shear and the moment diagram for this strip okay so this is uh, uh, the free body diagram of our strip okay in which the force of 50 newton is in downward direction and the vertical reaction at and b due to the spring this is now 3 newton okay we are assuming let the vertical reaction at fixed and okay that is and a let it be v and in the upward direction and also let the movement at this fixed end be m which is in the anti-clockwise direction because we have to find the reactions at this fixed end so vertical reaction is v in the upward direction and movement is in m in the anti-clockwise direction so let us take the movement about fixed end is equal to zero and assuming that clockwise movements are positive and anti-clockwise movements are negative so movement due to this 50 newton about end a this will be 50 into 0 0.2 0 0.2 is the length of the b minus 3 which is this vertical reaction at b into 0 0.2 minus m okay movement due to 50 newton is clockwise movement due to 3 newton is anti-clockwise and this m is also anti-clockwise from this we will get the value of m is equal to 9.4 newton meter since the value of m is positive it means our assumed direction of m is correct that is m is in the anti-clockwise direction and its magnitude is 9.4 newton meter similarly for vertical equilibrium of forces okay this uh, v minus 50 plus 3 this will be equal to 0 from this you will get the value of vertical reaction at and a equal to 47 newton uh, in the upward direction okay again this value is positive it means our assumed direction of v is correct that is v is acting in the upwards direction so you can see v here which is having a magnitude of 47 newton in the upward direction at this moment having a magnitude of 9.4 newton meter and it is in the anti-clockwise direction now let us draw the shear force and the bending moment diagram for this beam so shear force assuming that upward force is positive and downwards as negative shear force at the left of a this will be zero and shear force at the immediate right of a this will be equal to 47 newton similarly shear force at the left of the b this will be equal to 47 newton and shear force at the immediate right of b this will be 47 plus 3 minus 50 which is equal to zero this is the shear force diagram for the beam okay you can see this uh, colored portion is our shear force diagram okay after that the movement diagram for this beam let us assume that the clockwise movements are positive and anti-clockwise movements are negative so movement at a since this is in the anti-clockwise direction it will be negative so it will be minus 9.4 newton meter movement at b this will be 
minus 9.4 plus movement to the this 47 newton which will be clockwise so it will be minus 9.4 plus 47 into 0 0.2 which is equal to 0 you can see the bending moment diagram for this beam okay at end uh, the value of m is minus 9.4 and at end b the value of m is 0 and this is a triangular uh, this is a triangular bang, uh, bending moment diagram okay so this is how you can find the forces and draw the shear and the moment diagram for a statically indeterminate beam using the force method of analysis you just have to apply the compatibility conditions according to the situation i hope this solution video was clear and uh, effective and you definitely learn something new from this video okay if you have doubts you can write them in the comment box i will be also uploading some more videos on this uh, force method of analysis for the statically indeterminate beam so you just have to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends Thanks for watching and stay tuned.